Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome back to another vlog. So, as you can see, I am still wearing my Ana Luisa jewelry, my earrings, my necklace. I did pair it with another necklace, which I got from my dad. This pendant, I can't remember where I got it from, but still rocking that jewelry. So, if you are interested in checking out Ana Luisa, I um, definitely recommend them. I will leave a link down below. So, y'all. Brian just went to the barbershop to cut his hair. He cut his hair. This is the first time I'm ever seeing him in my whole entire life with a haircut. He cut it all off. All off. It's gone. It's crazy because I've never seen him cut with cut hair. So this is going to be interesting. He's calling me downstairs right now. So I'm bringing you guys with me and we are going to go check this out. Okay. Why not? You gotta see in the house. Why? You wanna see right here? Why not? You wanna see right here, baby? The lighting's not good. Okay, so Let's take a peek, baby. No. Yeah. No peek. Get your ass in that house. You don't see get the in peak. that house. Y'all, his beard grew. <laughs> My fiance says the darnest things, okay? This guy literally locked me out. Hello? Open the door. You, I can't open it. Because you got your hand on the handle. So come in here. It's fine, it's good. Okay, so. Ready to see my hair, baby? Yes. Yeah. All right, so I have to. Ah! Damn. So how we gonna do it is I want you to turn around to take my hair off, and then I want you to turn back around. Okay? Well, where are we gonna put the camera? You turn. Okay. Alright, let's go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Ready for me to turn around? Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> it is like so it, crazy. <laughs> You've never seen me with hair like this. Ever. It's so weird. It's weird? I finally see your head shape. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's so you weird. Like it, yeah, it's nice. Let me put your head put your head down. <laughs> Gotta get some waves. Yes, sir. You like it, baby? You look different. Wow. You look different. I different. He looks different, guys. I don't know this man. Who is this man? How do I look different? Because I've never seen you with hair like that. <laughs> hey, guys. What's up? Today is Friday. It's supposed to be vlog day. It's May 22nd. So I think the last clip was... Um, me ending off seeing Brian's hair, which he did cut off, and I think it looks really, really good. However, it was a real adjustment for me because I literally seen him go through all stages with his hair when he had that big, like, dreaded kind of afro, and then he kind of cut it down, um, and it was like a little small afro, then he like faded the sides, and then he got braids. Like, I've been through it all, and I have never seen him with his haircut which is insane i only seen pictures when he was like a little kid so definitely a change he's definitely a new man but i really like how it looks on him you know he's on his grown and sexy type ish however i feel like it makes him look a lot younger like he looks like a baby now i'm like oh you're such a little baby but anyways i do really like it but right now i'm currently um just in my room chilling and i'm going through a bunch of emails just answered a bunch of emails filled out a few contracts and things like that so on my to-do list today I have a meeting in about 20 minutes with Shea Moisture we are actually going to be doing a live video type thing um, in a few days so we're just going through the brief and just 
figuring out like all the logistics and stuff like that so that should be exciting you guys definitely should stay tuned for that live um for those of you guys who were on my live the other day we talked about a lot of stuff on there a lot of stuff i felt like i just talked way too much like I should have shut up but for those of you guys who are on the live thank you guys for joining um but yeah so i got a meeting in a few minutes and then i'm actually going to get my dress my wedding dress is here it is completed obviously i'm still gonna have to do like um adjustments and stuff like that i'm gonna have to tailor it to fit me better but um it's ready guys i'm super excited to see it i wonder if i'm still gonna have the same feeling i hope i do um so we're gonna go around after my meeting we're probably gonna go and pick up my dress and of course i'm gonna bring you guys along with me unfortunately i don't think i can try it on in the store because i'm isn't that what you do like you pick up your dress and you try it on in the store and then you go home with it i don't know but because of coronavirus um they're doing curbside pickup so we literally are calling them on the phone <laughs> um and they're gonna bring it out to us to the car so it's a little bit weird a little bit different but it is what it is man so that is the plan um so for now i'm going to finish up these emails and i'm gonna write down the questions that's what i gotta do i gotta write down the questions that i have to ask shea moisture so um i'm prepared for the meeting so let's do that um what kind of messaging are you looking for for the stories what do we stick what do we say in the beginning of the live do we have to state that this is a sponsored live really weird question but i feel like it needs to be asked what do we do if subscribers continuously comment about different brands how do we do we just ignore do we just ignore so those are just a few of the questions that i have that i could think of like straight off the bat which i'm kind of confused about because i've never done a sponsored kind of post like this um literally the post is us going live on instagram so i've never done that um so we'll see how this works out kind of run a show that i was just discussed and then you know, also issue a CTA for viewers who have tuned in to tune in to the next show um, and also show their, like, natural hair looks using the hashtag um, Wash Day Live. We'll, on the back end, production will be recording all of these. Um, it is suggested that, like, you know, if you do get the availability to actually save it down, do so, but um, that's not necessary. In case, you can add a cover photo just by adding it from your um, files, which will just be kind of like, you know, a screenshot from the recording itself with like some cute graphics on top. Um, and then uh, the brands will share their, your IGTV tiers um, to their story. Okay, uh, oh, sorry, Shanice, you wanna go? Oh, no, I was just gonna say, I don't think I have any other questions right now, but you can speak. Right, okay. Yeah. I was just gonna say, I'm really excited to um, do this with you guys, um, Shanice. I think us having different textures as yes. well. Yes. Yeah, and I think the conversation should be fun, and I'm excited. Okay, guys, the meeting is finito. Um, I totally understand everything now a lot better. Um, I think this is actually going to be pretty interesting. So me and Chizzy are actually going to be going live together. If you guys don't know who Chizzy is, she's another like natural hair, travel, beauty influencer. And she has like 4C hair, and my hair is like 3B, 3C type texture and it's a lot looser than hers so I feel like it's going to be interesting for us to actually style our hair on camera and to have two different textures but using similar products or from the same line or from the same brand sorry I think it's going to be real interesting so you guys definitely should come out um the live is going to be on Wednesday May 27th at 7 p.m not sure if that's eastern i feel like it might be eastern so definitely be there your mouth was fantastic the fuck did you pass it 
Y'all, oh my gosh. So Brian's car is overheating. So it was at like 278 degrees Fahrenheit, like the engine was. So we had to stop at this place over here. It is hot. It's hot outside today. But um, <laughs> so he tried to Google it. He tried to YouTube it, which is what he usually does. And he always like, it always comes through for him. But we didn't really know what we're doing. He didn't really know. And we're trying to put the coolant in. He left the car off though he the but there was a guy beside us and he was like no turn your car off turn your car on because it's gonna help relieve some of the pressure um so now he's helping us out over there and he was like back up back up i'm scared i'm thinking the thing's gonna like blow up or something so i'm all the way back here the car's like on the other side so right now the man he's really nice he's like you need, you need some help and he's like yeah so he's helping us do the whole cooling process brian's washing so you can learn for next time but let me just stay over here for now. <laughs> Look at God helping us out. I'm trying to catch the light. I don't know what we would have done without that man because we would have tried to do something wrong. Something would be wrong. So thank you. Thank you, Lord, for this man to be right here. And super nice. As soon as we came out the car, like before we even bought anything, he was like, You guys smell good. What's in your car? Blah, blah, blah. So, like, it was just meant to be. Like, thank you. Learn more about okay guys, we are back driving now and we're gonna go pick up my dress, my wedding dress. Okay, that works. Um, and also, um, is the veil gonna be with it too? I have a photo like in the same one that I was wearing. Okay. And then the lace and everything is in the bottom of the bag. Okay. So, do you want to put it in the back seat or in the yeah, back? Yeah, I want to put Well, I'm probably going to take one of those like boomerangs first. Oh, yeah, perfect. So, you know, do like, you mind? Yeah. Um, I just sanitize everything. Would you mind signing this? And I made it look that it was a curbside pickup that you didn't get to try it on. But yeah. just to show that you're taking it. Hopefully Brian can do it for me. in the car, okay? Okay guys, so we just got home. I'm about to put up my dress. Um, you guys can see the designer here. It's from Martina Liana. She makes some really, really beautiful dresses, but because we don't really know when our wedding's gonna be now, I low key have time to look for another dress if I need to or if I want to. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do because I didn't get to try it out in the stores because the whole corona situation and they weren't really doing that. They're only doing curbside pickups. So, I, at least I got to look at it, it looks good, but I don't even, like I wanna feel that feeling again like when I first tried it on. So, I don't know how I'm gonna do it because I have nobody to help me. I can go to like a seamstress or whatever, but I don't know what our wedding is even gonna be. So it's like, why would I get it fitted to my body now? Because it's not gonna be the same in you know the next few months, but I don't know. So we also got my veil, which I'll show you guys. She said to put up your veil right away because it's gonna wrinkle and my veil is nothing special. I actually might change it or like add to it. To, um, so we'll see.
So here they put my veil in here. I can low key crush the bag, but it's literally just a long veil, like long. Um, I don't know, I just couldn't see myself with a short veil. I feel like it looks weird. Like it looks so like old school, like 19 something. I don't know, I just, I wanted more like pizzazz. Um, so she said to take it out. Yeah, so this is like literally gonna go right into the dress. Um, it's literally just super simple. Might add lace onto it. Um, depending, it depends. It really depends on like what I do with my dress or what I decide to do with it because there's one part of my dress that I might take off, but we'll see. So this is the veil. Your girl is, let me put it in. Your girl is a future bride, okay? Look, look how long this is. <laughs> so long. It's so long. Long, long. Oops. Hello. <laughs> so I just hung my dress right here. I literally am blocking my shoes and some of my bags, but this is the only place that I could put it. And then I, hang, I hung my veil up here, but honestly, I might just put it back into the package because she did say you can also just give it to your seamstress and like she could fix it up or take out all the wrinkles. But like, this is just going to be in my way. I'm probably going to like trip on it and it might get like messed up. I might put a hole in it. So, oh, I'm going to tuck it in to the dress. That might work. So. Yeah, okay. Anyways, y'all, we just bought cilantro, my favorite bowl. I haven't had takeout in so long. I've been cooking so much, like, every day. Not every day, but, like, almost every day I've been cooking. So, I'm excited that we got some takeout food today. And it's still, like, pretty healthy. So, <sighs> I'm so hungry. So, I'm about to go dig in. Um, and I think I'm going to end the vlog here. So, I will see you guys all in the next one. I love you guys. Deuces.